So, sun's not even up yet, and I'm bright as can be, bright as something that's really bright, someone, bright as someone who's wearing this super tangerine, orangey, geodama kit. Holy comfortable, holy bright. Oh, yes. I'm really pleased. Also, socks. One of the things that the Amy Gillette Foundation pushes is that you have uh, bright moving bits. Ta-da, achieved. First ride with these glasses too, by the way. And even though that sun is super duper bright and I tend to sneeze in the bright sunlight, there is, even though you can see my eyeballs, there is a bit of tinting which sort of quells the pain. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's a product review and I've done many, many product reviews over the years. But I'm really excited by this one. I am because it's there's a, it's so different. The kit is so different because the trend has been make it fit and make it tight, like squeeze in there, like the map nicks. Putting them on, holy dooly, that's like that's quite an operation. Hang on, speed bump. Oh, sand, gravel, big rocks. Um, and I'm not complaining. I like. Don't get me another speed bump. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the map kit heaps. It's beautiful to wear, but this stuff, you just put it on. You just put it on. And there's no wrestling. It just, and then, and then it sits. I will say, I like a long sleeve. I really like a long sleeve, actually. I came to it with the Jai Hindley Sunweb team issue that I got given. Uh, anyway, never mind. Long story. Have a look in the links, maybe I'll reference it. And I do love the long sleeve. It's like, I don't want to go back to that old school style anymore. But these, you see, it's, it's not tight. It's, it's not, it's just fitted, it's just really good. But I would like that a little bit less, a little bit tighter on the sleeve. Everywhere else, everything I'm wearing is bloody beautiful. And now I'm going to go down the trail and you'll see uh, more of the clothing the, uh, for the record. Uh, I probably don't try this at home, but you know, I know my way around, but it's not ideal for the old road bike.
Uh, not good for the bike, but pretty good for the eyes, hey? Oh, look at that view. Said it before and I'll say it again, that will never get old, never get old. It is magical stuff, really. Um, highly recommended stuff to wear. I'm beyond impressed and I'll keep everything on just uh, while I make a little quick mid-ride summary about this kit. So first of all, I keep saying it's fitted but it's not super tight, it just works. This is the small, again my weight currently 65 kilos, boom, I'm 179, 178 and a half centimetres depending if I'm slouching or not. The sleeves are long, like I like them, but they tend to just rise up just a little because they're not fitted. So. Hardly a criticism, just a statement. I've got my usual uh, load on board, which is to say a wallet and keys in the left pocket, a phone and um, spare battery for the GoPro in the right pocket with a couple of face masks and a couple, uh, two, would you believe, uh, little Oakley sunglass bags. Planes are back in the sky. And then in the middle pocket, I, I use the GoPro. Now, I was told that the pockets have a little clever hem and I was told the truth. It's, it really is a really clever hem. It just feels secure. It's very, very easy to access everything in there, but I never once felt like even when I was jumping speed bumps that anything was gonna go and go uh, flying out while I was on the bike. Uh, hugely beneficial. And there's ample room in the pockets too and they, it doesn't feel like they're flapping about on my back. Now I can't see every angle of the fabric uh, of the garments that I'm wearing, but I can feel the, the, and I have to say, like, I've talked about potentially talking about placement in Nick's, and I think I can even film it today. Look, <sighs> like, I think all of us have had a bad moment with Nick's where you just look down and you just think, oh, what am I doing? I hope no one saw that. Um, in other words, you know, you can, you can carry yourself in the wrong, you can, what's the words? You can embarrass yourself. Yeah. But I don't feel embarrassed in these. The housing in these nicks is probably the best I remember. In other words, I set and forget. Okay. And, um, look at this wave, a bit of swell today, but it's not as bad as it has been. From here that looked quite lovely. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to talk a hell of a hell of a hell of a hell of a lot more about these clothes, but in the meantime, just a quick first ride appraisal. Better than I expected. Way better than I expected. Not cheap. I'm not going to say they're cheap. I'm not. It's an investment, okay? It's an investment in happiness and comfort, but it's not cheap. I have to say, it is not cheap. But is it worth it? <sighs> Having worn shit by, uh, having worn terrible cycling clothing before, yes, it's worth it. It's better to have one set of good kit than five sets of shit kit. Yeah, that's that's my summary. Really, I highly recommend it. Summer's coming. Get a summer kit, get a winter kit, and then build around that. But don't go excessive. Get the colour you like, which is, for me this is magic. I have to say the motorists gave me more room today. They just were saying, I can't miss you. 
I can't use that excuse, I didn't see you. Whereas other bike riders I saw today, and there were plenty on account of the memo that went out overnight, hey everyone, it's gonna look like this. So there were heaps of bike riders. Now, I didn't see all of them, because some of them were just basically blending into the surrounds. They didn't have lights on. It was early in the morning when I started, and you basically couldn't see them. Now, this orange, I felt like a tradie in a good way, like Brighton being seen, being seen and being safe and being respectful of others on the road. I'm tempted just to sit here all day and just look at nothing. Hey, that's more than nothing, isn't it? It's bloody beautiful. as if you haven't seen that before. Anyway, it is time to ride. I am gonna do some exercise today, not very much, because I'm just too busy being gobsmacked by how wonderful the kid is. True. <laughs>